Hey everyone, today I'm showing you how to make food. Specifically, this is when you're dealing with the stovetop, and specifically on that, an inaccessible stovetop. Not that this is deliberately bad or anything, but just the fact that there are stovetops that are just the top, no oven below it, and you can go under it as if it's a table. I've seen that before, I've lived somewhere with that before. But it's really hard to find and probably really expensive as well. So a lot of times, like if you're getting an apartment and it comes furnished with the stove top and the oven and all that, it's probably gonna be something like this. And so here I'm showing you how I use it, how I cook with it, things to be cautious of. And so today we're making eggs. So what I do is, um, it, I guess it doesn't matter which way you come from, but I am right-handed and so I like to use my right hand while I'm cooking. And what that means is I have my left side closest that way I can, um, I guess, put my weight on my left hand. Because when you're coming up, so what I do is I just get nice and close and somewhat at an angle. If you have something like a lip here, you can kind of come into it a little bit. And so I'll do that, put on my brake just so I don't move around. And I'll usually sit up as well because wheelchairs is called a dump, which is, I think is kind of a funny word. but it's where the front here is gonna be a little bit higher than the back here, just so that you kind of can stay in the chair. So I'll sit up in the chair, give myself some extra elevation, a little bit more wiggle room, just so I'm not leaning back while I'm cooking. And I actually do like to be about right here. The thing is, when you're cooking, right, you can't just go like this, because if you lean too far forward, you don't have your feet or anything to kind of push you back to counterbalance. So I'm using my arm to counterbalance. So I'm like this. And here, this right here is metal. If we're cooking in the oven or if maybe this stove top is on as well and it's on high, then this can get hot. So be careful of that. So sometimes I'll rest my arm here. Sometimes I'll pull this out and rest on this. But for the most part, just like this is fine. And another thing is that here, when you're adjusting the heat, you really want to be careful that you don't, you don't want to burn your arm. So you want to be very careful of that, and if you can't reach, then you can use like a stick or something and twist it. And so now, for cracking the eggs, this is how I do it, and you know, so some people probably put it in a bowl and mix it first. I scramble my eggs in the pan because I'm just going for efficiency here. I, I like to crack them in the lid, that way any of the little bits of the egg that fall out don't get on the table, less to clean up. And you can notice balancing with my arm here. And then it, it is pretty hard when you're trying to get over the pan because you, you only have one hand to do it really. So if it's not too hot, you can put your hand here, but you want to be careful not to burn yourself again on the pan because I've done that before and it, it hurts. And likewise, when you're doing seasoning, if you have cracked pepper that you have to crack, you might want to do that into the bowl first if you're making your eggs in the bowl because it's hard to get over the whole pan, so I'll usually only be able to crack it in this first half of the pan and then I'll mix it into the rest. So today we're making four eggs for my brother and I. And then here's how I make my scrambled eggs. It's pretty basic stuff. And then, so while these are cooking, we're gonna come back here and cut up some cheese. Now, there's many ways to do this, I guess, but the, the main thing that we're looking at here is the countertop. So this is not a table that I can get underneath. So when doing anything, especially cutting cheese, which is hard when it's cold, it's hard to get your weight into it because you're not right over it. So sometimes I'll just put it on my lap. It's a cutting board. It's safe. And here I can really put all my weight into it. Right? And if you have a really nice knife like this one, it actually is pretty easy, as a thick slice, it's pretty easy sometimes to, to cut. If you have a bad knife, you should probably get a good knife because bad knives are pretty dangerous actually. And to show you how it can be done up here, it's difficult and you'll want to, you know, of course get as close as you can to the countertop and put on the brakes as well because you might push yourself away from the table and that could get dangerous. And so it's not as easy, but I can still push down. But you can definitely see it's a bit of a struggle. So there's that, cutting up the cheese. 
And for the seasoning, I'll show you guys how I do that. We're gonna do some salt, some pepper, and I like some cayenne pepper as well. Just spice it up. So I can lean over like this, but you can see how I'm leaning back in the wheelchair because if I try to sit up and lean over, I'm just gonna fall over. So I do need some support in some way. So I'll lean back and that's how I'll do that. But if I want it to be closer and lean up, I would go like this and just be careful that I'm not burning my arm, touching the pan. I like a lot of pepper. And then the cayenne pepper, this is just already cracked, I guess, or whatever you say, powderized. So it's pretty easy to just go like this. And then, because this is supposed to be scrambled eggs, not an omelet, I'll just chop it up. I'll be honest, it's, it's not the best way to make scrambled eggs. My mom does it better, but it's easy. So, I'm, I'm the type of person that leaves the shells in the carton. I'll show you how. So for putting this away, going into the fridge, hold on your lap or whatever, but the way I, I would always approach a fridge is I just go from the side and, you know, because it's pretty difficult if you're here. Some people, when they open a fridge, they kind of stand in front. You can back up and you can pull yourself back, but then you have to go all the way back. So I like to be right at the opening of the fridge. That way I'm, I'm kind of like this. And then as the fridge opens, I can turn into it. And then I know that when I'm going away from the fridge, I can turn away from it and the fridge will shut. Because sometimes you're just in the way of the fridge and it just doesn't shut and it becomes this whole thing. You gotta kind of move around and all that. So I'll go like this and the fridge shuts, super easy. And we're also going to have some naan, or nan, with our breakfast, so with this, we have a waffle iron, and so we'll just cook it in that, because that's how we make our, all of our toast. This, this gets to another point of just reaching back, so all of our outlets are in the back wall here, so what I'll do is I'll get back here, and again to the point of sitting up in your chair, it gives you a lot more uh, mobility and reach. So sitting back here, obviously, I cannot reach it. But if I sit up, I'm, of course I'm closer, and I can lean into the table, or the countertop rather, and lean into it, plug it in. And so that's pretty easy. Of course, that also goes along with the length of your arms and so on. So I'm, I'm not that tall, and so my arms aren't that long. So reaching stuff can be harder for others who might be shorter, or easier for others who have longer arms. And we'll be back when we're ready to be done. So the food is cooked, and we, I'm just going to show you how to put it on the plate and get it ready. So this can also be something difficult or dangerous. You don't want to spill on yourself. It's hot. You don't want to touch the pan. That's even more hot. So when it comes to eggs, at least, what I'll do is I'll make sure they're all kind of towards the part of the pan that I'm dumping it out of, and I'll grab it like this with the handle. So with the wrist mobility, you want to be able to just flip it, right? And so I'm, I'm gonna dump it out of this portion. So I'm just gonna, I push all the eggs over here and kind of just make sure they're together because I, I want it to spill off the plate or just go outside of the plate range. So you can grab it like this, but then see, you can't really do much with it. And the key thing is that when we're here and we're cooking, you're not moving around a lot because you need your hands to cook, you need your hands to move around, and doing both at once can also get pretty difficult. And also, I'm turning off the stove top. I'm gonna do it like that, or if you wanted to, like that, using the end of the whatever stick type of thing you have. So, turning it, twisting it over here. And in this case, I'm not leaning too far back, but I'm not also up in my seat. I wanna be fully seated with the back support if I need it, because you can be leaning back, maybe if it's greasy and really hot, but you just don't want to be too out of balance. If I were up here, it would be pretty hard and all that, so just sitting back comfortably 
And now here's the eggs. We have the naan here, cooked in our waffle iron. We have one fork left. So use that to grab this out. And this is garlic naan with cheesy eggs. So it's gonna be really good. And that's it. So I guess the next the next part would be carrying it somewhere. It's gonna be hot. The bottom of the plate will be hot. And so you can either just push around from your apartment what, or house, what, whatever you have, I'm grabbing here, I'm pulling myself forward and all that. So all with one hand, I can switch hands, but one hand at a time. And so, or you can see moving over here, you can use a cutting board. And cutting boards are really good because they're a good insulator, wood or a thicker plastic one, not a thin one, but a thicker one. That's gonna insulate a lot. So you can put that on your lap and then you can put just about anything on your lap. It's also flat. It's a lot more flat than your legs and that'll just make it even more safe. So if you wanna have a hot cup of tea, you can put it here and it would be a lot better than on your leg, which is rounded, it's not flat. And that's it.